So today I'm going to talk about another chat GPT strategy. This is a reversal strategy using Bollinger Bands. So when we create Bollinger Bands, let's say 20 comma 2, um, it is assumed if the price goes above the upper Bollinger Band, so if it goes above the upper Bollinger Band and if it starts to come down, that means it, it touches the upper Bollinger Band and starts to come down, then there can be an overbought condition and we can go for a shorting trade. So this is like a reversal trade. And if it is below the lower Bollinger Band, um, then we can go for a buying trade. So I've actually tested this strategy on Bank Nifty and I've used the one minute time frame. And uh, what I've done is I've also kept the target as the middle Bollinger Band, which is the average line. I've also kept a stop loss of 0.5% and a target of 1%. So I have a risk to reward of 1 is to 2. So let us see how this strategy uh, uh, is working. But before that, let me give an example of what I'm talking about. So I'm again, I'm showing you Bank Nifty here on a one minute time frame. So let me just make this a little bigger. So what I can do is I can add the indicator Bollinger Bands. So the Bollinger Bands have been added and this is already 20 comma 2. So what we are saying is that let's say here we can see that the price first went up. So this is it, it went up here. And then it came back down, right? This is where we are saying that we will be selling. So we will be taking a selling entry here with this as the target, the middle line. And in this case, you can see that the target is hit, right? So this will be my selling trade. Similarly, this will be my buying trade. So it came below, it came below the Bollinger Band and then it went up. So I will be buying here at the closing price and this is my target. So again, this is working out well. This is working out well. Um, on the other hand, if we see here, right, that this went up and it came down, but it did not hit the target. And in this case, it kept going up. So this would have been a stop loss trade. So this would have been a stop loss trade. So I've shown you all the different examples of how this strategy would work. So now let us see the backtest results of this strategy on Bank Nifty. So let us see the uh, results now of this strategy. So I have run it on a five minute time frame. Again, I'm showing it from 2019 all the way to 2023. This is the entry time. Um, this is the entry price of Bank Nifty. I've also mentioned the previous uh, Bollinger Band and the current Bollinger Band. In case of buy, this will be the lower Bollinger Band and in case of sell, this will be the upper Bollinger Band, right? Um, here is a direction of the trade. I've also calculated the stop loss in the target and this is the final exit of the trade. And we also get to know the exit time and the final PNL. So let us see the results. So this is the results. Again, I'm assuming only 0.01% slippage. But as you can see, the, the total ROI is actually negative. It's minus 22%. And obviously the drawdown is huge. But as we can see, it's a negative strategy. Um, so this chat GPT strategy on Bollinger Band, which is a very common strategy, which is used by people to do reversal trades actually gives negative returns in the last five years and you can clearly see the cumulative pnl also so the graph here you can see that the results are extremely bad um, there is no point in fact going through all the other other things here at the bottom because this is a negative strategy you can see the total pnl is minus 6800 so this is not a great strategy but as usual i've tried to test the same strategy with option selling that means whenever I'm getting a buying trade, I'm selling at the money put. And when I'm getting a sell trade, I'm selling at the money call. Um, and I'm using the weekly options. So here is the result with the options. Now you can see that it is still a negative strategy. It is still a negative strategy, though it has definitely improved. So it was minus 22%. It has become minus 1%, but it is still a negative strategy. Also, very, very important thing to note here, you see the cumulative PNL. You can see that the results are very, very unpredictable because there was a beautiful rally in the middle and then it went down also very quickly. That means this strategy actually has extremely high volatility. And if you calculate the sharp ratio, the sharp ratio is going to be extremely abysmal. Right. So overall, this, this strategy by Chad GPT on Bollinger Band is a loss making strategy and uh, the final verdict is that we should not be trading this again if you have any comments of how to make this better you can put it below and i can try to see if we can test it out thank you and i'll, I'll see you soon bye